Welcome back. You're still tuned into Trading R and let's get you some interesting insights from the industry. Nestle India Managing Director Suresh Narayanan uh, speaks to Mangalam about the company's product portfolio, growth verticals and future ventures as well. So let's listen into some very interesting excerpts from that chat. Nestle is big in ice creams globally. Yes. Nestle is big in you know a lot of other categories globally. Do we see some of those coming here? Well, we have uh, we have enough of uh, you know apart from the the four or five categories in which we are in. Hmm. Now we also have got uh, health science and we've got pet care okay. and we've got breakfast cereals and I think there is enough and more to be done in these categories itself. So the portfolio and the plan for the company is quite full in terms of, uh, of uh, leveraging the opportunities in existing categories with some more of additions uh, of relevant products uh, that we will have from the global stable in terms of recipes but which will ultimately get manufactured in India. What kind of opportunity do you see from Purina coming in in the next say three years or four years? What proportion of your salience should Purina be? Look, uh, Purina is, uh, for us, it's, uh, it's really a top-notch, uh, top-flight uh, business. Uh, today it is minuscule. Mm. Uh, if I'm able to get it uh, to 4 to 5 percent of my business, it will be a, a terrific uh, uh, performance because of the sheer size of the, uh, of, of, of the company otherwise. And Gerber? And uh, uh, Gerber, again, as far as the, uh, the tolerization is concerned, today you've seen only one product, mm. uh, which is Gerber Serious. Yes. But there are at least four or five more products that are ready for, uh, that are getting ready for launch in terms of a range from Gova. Hand on heart, are you very happy with the way your performance in the breakfast cereals has been? I think we have, we have, we have put in our best behind it. Hmm. And, uh, and uh, we are seeing signs of traction now. Okay. Uh, and I think which is, a, which is a good thing for us. And a few of the innovations that we are putting together uh, will strengthen our presence in the category. Uh, we do not get into a category with a uniform expectation that it will blossom into a star okay. uh, in a couple of years. Uh, we allow it to, uh, to, to, uh, to nurture for a while uh, with all the inputs and with all the support and confidence that we can have. After all, uh, even a brand like uh, Maggie Noodles yeah. uh, took almost a decade to settle into the kind of standard that you see today in the market. So amidst all of this, uh, what happens to any inorganic opportunities? Are you are you open to that? Because Nestle hasn't been acquisitive in particular. No, I think I think uh, that uh, that definitely uh, that definitely remains. And uh, uh, any attractive, you know, uh, most most uh, opportunities are definitely explored. And uh, yes, uh, you know, God willing, uh, we will uh, we will we will uh, have fruitions in some of them as we go along. The, do the fruitions taste like desi Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me not let me not uh, let me not egg you on with this. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, yes, everything is uh, everything is on the table. Nothing is off the table. And you're not worried about large conglomerates getting into the FMCG space. Reliance, case in point, uh, competition is. Look, I respect competition a lot. I think competitions provide a new uh, impetus. Uh, of uh, inspiration to uh, to my company in terms of what is possible. Uh, I respect, but I don't fear. One of the fears that the street has, and it's a recent fear emanating from what happened last quarter in another large MNC, is that the royalty renegotiation comes up next year. Four and a half percent of sales is what you pay right now. Is there a risk that it could increase given the global focus on India and the opportunity that India let provides? Me not, let me not speculate on that. I think... I think uh, uh, timely discussions will happen, deliberations will happen, and whatever is done will be done in the interests of uh, the uh, the shareholders and in the interests of the organisation. So there is uh, there is nothing to fear as far as this is concerned. You joined in July 2015 in the heat of crisis. <coughs> this is Nestle India that I'm talking about. You did amazing five years. Then there was a re renewal that came in for the next five years that comes up for renewal in July 2025. Uh, do you wish to play on for longer or uh... look i think i think every 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 person has a time and a role uh, that they play in uh, in the uh, in the theater of life uh, i have played it and i play it with 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 uh, all commitment and hard work and uh, yes i think uh, watch the space as to as to what next and what an ideal retirement for suresh narayan would be well, I would, I would love to, uh, I would love to teach. Uh, I would like to, I love to interact with, uh, with uh, young people. 
uh, this is give back time for me. It's give back time in the company as well. How would you end uh, this conversation with a Doha? It's bada hua to kya hua? Jaise peed khajur, panchi ko chaya nahi, phal lagi iti dur. What is the point of being a, a khajur tree, which is right up there, and nobody is able to access you or to eat your fruit? I think the joys of leadership lies in being accessible, in being authentic, and also in being helpful in whatever way you can to your team. And that alone is the reward for all the efforts that you put. What a beautiful way to uh, end that. And you can catch the full conversation on our special show, The Weekender, at 3.30 p.m. today only on CNBC TV 18.